Hi, I'm Ben. I'm a process and sales engineer with Pope Scientific. Today I'm going to be discussing how volatile materials affect your distillation process. If you've run white film distillation equipment before, you likely have run into an issue with weak vacuum. There are several issues that can cause weak vacuum, such as problems with your vacuum pump or a leak at the joint, fitting, or seal. The inability to reach the rated ultimate vacuum with your vacuum pump may be a simple fix, as we discuss in the linked video. Or you can contact Pope Scientific's team of technical experts for troubleshooting leaks. But what might be the case if your, vac your system is vacuum tight and you still have weak vacuum when you start to process your material? In that case, it's likely that you have volatiles in your feed material causing your vacuum to raise. Specifically, when you're talking about the processing of cannabinoid extracts, you're going to be doing a two-pass operation. In the first pass, you're trying to remove your lighter materials, such as terpenes. And then on your second pass, you're actually trying to distill the cannabinoids away from those heavy waxes, sugars, and fats. If on your first pass, you have volatile materials, such as ethanol or dissolved gases present, what will happen is they'll take up the vapor space that you're planning on distilling the terpenes in. When that vapor space gets filled, it leaves terpenes behind. You then go on to your second pass and now are distilling terpenes instead of your desired cannabinoids. By distilling those terpenes instead of the cannabinoids, you leave behind cannabinoids in your residue and that's affecting your bottom line because you're leaving material in your waste stream. Without proper devolatilization, you may also impact the quality of your distillate. Um, this may happen where you start to see streaks of brown or red material in your distillate stream. What's happening in that case likely is that you are having flashing occurring. Flashing occurs when you have two materials of different boiling points that are being exposed to too much heat or too much vacuum. A practical example of flashing is when you put water into hot oil in a frying pan. That water gets into the hot oil and immediately vaporizes. When it does that, it will flash. When it, when it flashes, it not only vaporizes the water, but it also carries along oil with it. That's why you end up with oil on your countertop if you were to do that. The same thing can happen on your cannabinoid distillation. If you go to distill your cannabinoids and there's ethanol or dissolved gases or any light materials in there, what will happen is those will flash off and will carry your cannabinoids with over as a distillate, but it will also bring undesirables such as chlorophyll or waxes over, causing those brown streaks and making your distillate just not as nice as you'd like it to be. Often when vacuum issues arise, uh, users of white film stills attempt to compensate. They can either run their still body at higher temperatures, they can try and really slow down the process, or they can get very complex and expensive vacuum systems. Realistically, this can work for you. However, it's not the ideal way to process. If you are ide using the ideal process, uh, you'll end up with a much better product. To do this, we recommend that you always would consider multiple passes when you have materials that have a boiling point difference of probably about 30 degrees Celsius or larger. Hopefully this introduction of the impact of volatile materials on your distillation process has been helpful. If you have further questions, feel free to contact Pope Scientific to learn more about our white film molecular distillation equipment.